Well, we've had Sweet Baby Inc. detected on Steam. It was a curator group that got placed out there because of the actual dreadness of these games that they've been involved with, rewriting the narrative. And this same sort of idea got brought up to a one YouTuber by the name of Smash JT. He made a website called Kutaku Detected, but it got the people that had worked for Kutaku so upset they petitioned the, the hosting company to take down the website. Now we're gonna look at an article from That Park Place being mostly because I've, I've seen them in the past and they've got a fairly detailed list of actually what happened here. I'm gonna give my thoughts on this situation. But before I do that, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and come back here once again because we will be covering many more things like this in the future. I have to assume that once again, the evil snake of Kutaku will rear its head. YouTuber Smash JT Kotaku detected website shut down after second win editor Nick Kaladara called for mass reporting. I actually spoke about Nick, I think it was in a uh, one of my car vlogs because he went after Grums. He was taken uh he was taken himself uh, out there and spreading out false information that was fed to him by uh, another Twitter user on a fake account, and he was up to no good. He absolutely detests everyone in this circle that's trying to fight back against this DEI narrative, this push in video games to completely rewrite the narratives to absolutely destroy the good faith these video games used to stand for. But beyond that, YouTuber Smash JT reports his website, smashjt.com, featured a Kutaku detected page was shut down after a coordinated campaign organized by Second Wind editor in chief Nick Kaladara. Smash JT had a page on his website titled Kutaku detected that he describes as a com comprehensive directory of individuals who worked or have worked for Kutaku, a website that's historically known to care more about pushing activist agendas and narratives instead of conversations about video games. He added the page includes some writers, editors, and others that have contributed to the downfall of games journalism over the years. Each entry provides a relevant information for further research, including the roles, articles, and or linked videos explanations. This is much the same as what you see with Twitter right now, or now known as X, with community notes. Community notes will usually link back to an article that will actually showcase the truth of these stories. And where a website like this could actually catalog the falsehoods that we have seen come out of uh, Kutaku or the narratives being pushed by them. Uh, and then it could be fact-checked. This is the exact same thing we have seen in media for a long time now, but this just happens to be someone else sitting there saying, no, the narrative that has been pushed is not right. And let's get down to the bottom of it. What is truly going on? It got so bad for them that they needed to petition Winx to actually get this site taken down. And it's kind of funny because out of all of this, this is about the same time this website went up was about the same time that the Alyssa Mercante hit list appeared. Shortly after uh, Smash JT's video went up announcing the website, Alyssa took down that list. It was almost one in the same. It was like within the hour of the two things coming out. And then, of course, Alyssa comes out with, oh, we're making lists now. Normal, sane, fully legal behavior. It, it, it is to sit there and say all these people have worked there. It's, it's a resume of sorts, just in the reverse order. Now you have, okay, this is everyone that's worked at Kotaku. This is everyone that has pushed Kotaku articles to push a narrative of something that just isn't real. This is the list. We've covered this in previous videos. I'm not going to reiterate that. If you want to know more details about that, I have a full playlist of Alyssa Macante uh, videos at this point. 
Uh, see, after seemingly being described as a hit list by Macante, ex-user GigaBear reported that Candelara was organizing his followers behind a locked account to report Smash JT's website. Candelara wrote, as it was rightfully pointed out to me, and he is refusing to take down the page, as continues to add more names to it, it needs to be taken down, so please continue reporting to Winx as I am. I'm still waiting for a response. And this is the screen grab Giga Bear uh, happened to be able to get on Nick. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic behavior. Absolutely pathetic behavior. Don't you you don't go after people's livelihoods. You don't take down that. Um I, I have to say Smash JT, I believe, has a petition, or there's a petition going around saying for Kotaku to end their ways to literally go and do what geo media is asking them of and that is to make game guides uh, other posts from candelar have seen him encouraging his followers to mass report a website brigading in per se uh, as shared by X by Rolo CNG, Candelera wrote, I am not spending another week tweeting about this baloney. I have actual work to do. I will actively be working to take this list down this week. And once again, I suggest you do the same. I'm done messing around with these guys. So if you have actual work to do, you have better things to do than just to go after a list after a website that's been put up just literally saying these are the people that have worked on uh, Kotaku. It's like putting up a list of videos of people that are on YouTube over something you don't like. Hmm. I wonder what that was. He added, here's a link to smashjts.com Kotaku detected and I suggest you keep tagging Winx and Winx help until you take, the, take action for breaking the terms of service against targeted harassment. What are you doing? Nick, this is tar the, what you're doing is exactly what the terms of service is against. Trying to brigade for targeting a website that was being put up. All he did, literally, all he did was say these people made these articles or helped on these articles. Alyssa makes a list of YouTubers that happen to make content on stories that she's been involved in and suddenly it's considered harassment. It's not. You can make the, all the lists you want. You, people make top 10 lists on YouTube all the time. All the time. Top 10 secrets to Elden Ring. Top 10 levels to play in Super Mario Brothers. Top 10 people that worked at Kotaku. It's the exact same thing when you think about it. Okay, so what is exactly Kotaku detected? This is... He's put it up here, Smash JT. I believe he's got his own website, much like some of the bigger name YouTubers out there. Um, a list of folks who've worked, have worked, or are friends with Kotaku and beyond. It's a comp comprehensive directory of individuals who have had dealings with Kotaku in the narratives that they push. You've got Melissa Mercante listed as the senior editor, which is correct. Uh, Carol Pettit, uh, manager editor, uh, you know, the stories that he's linking here, refuses to reprimand Alyssa uh, for contacting my wife on Facebook. This goes back a long time ago. Like Alyssa contacted Smash JT's wife uh, in DMs. She's trying to dig up anything possible on Smash JT. If you, if you go down far enough in this list, oh, there's Anita Sarkeesian, uh, you've got, uh, no, Kim Belair, Chris Kindred. Both of these two are part of Sweet Baby Inc. And Chris Kindred was the original person that went after Kabodos Rambo with this Sweet Baby Inc. curator page. This is the type of people that have weaseled themselves into the gaming sphere. And these are the articles that they write. These are the things that have come down the list and why Smash JT here felt the necessary steps to go forward and actually post this all in one spot. People that have worked and people that are still, you know, doing everything in the gaming space and pushing these ideas that are just not, not, not factual. They're not true. Yes, they have had some good stuff come out of Kotaku in the past. There's some articles, but it's few and far between that they are actually on point. A lot of them are just narrative-driven, agenda-pushing BS. 
And that's what everyone is trying to go up against and say, no, this is not right. I've seen many of a community note against them. I've seen many people, many, many people say just no. And now it's just been all put in one site. Now let's take a step back and look at this uh, from a objective point of view. Anybody that worked for Kotaku, anybody, would they put that on their resume that they worked for Kotaku? Yes. Does this highlight the more disparaging things that they have said, done, or do, or make articles about? Kind of what it, what it is. It just shows the integrity of the people that are pushing these articles, pushing this these agendas. And that's why Smash JT felt it was necessary to put this together. At least that would be my understanding. And why majority of us are also saying no more we just want our video games we want video we want to be able to play a video game in peace and not be told that what by us playing this video game we have to better ourselves now the worst part of all this now as you can see the site is back up and running that's why i was able to view it but the worst part of all of this is they Alyssa marcante in particular went running to twitter to to try and make a example out of smash jt's site getting taken down celebrating that the site was taken down well winks decided to let it go back up it, it, it probably bots it was mass reported by nick's community to take this site down so it automatically it's taken down wix investigated and said there's nothing wrong with this and gave it right back to smash jt and now it's back up and running so everything they've done here they didn't win they, they made, they put egg on their face and they're wearing it. They're smearing it down their face because they celebrated it way too early. Sure, they got it taken down. You can mass flag anything and it gets taken down. That's the bot system that we live in within the social media spaces that we're in now. They're gonna get mass flagged from these things. And in majority of cases, in 90% of the cases, they're gonna be put right back up there as a, and, and be proven that it was falsely taken down that's what's happened here today and you know what smash i'm glad your site's back up because now you get to add even more things to it anyway i've been your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe